It was only 24 hours before this DPC session that the Women's Association had issued a press release expressing concern at the imminent demolition of a facility which, they say, is much used and needed by the residents and families of the estate. Parents had also made their own representations and were in the DPC's public gallery as the project came up. In my opinion, it does help children emotionally, uh, socially. Um, they actually open up to uh, people, they play with other children. It's not always um, playing with only their friends. Um, what can I say? Um, I feel the youth workers do re a really good job. Um, teach children about the drug abuse, which is not good uh, at an early age, like Amari said. Um, they teach them about uh, the bullying that's going on, not to what to do and what not to do. Antisocial behavior, anti -social behavior what, uh, what's right, what's wrong. Uh, if they have any uh, problems at home, for example, they can reach out to the youth workers, they can help uh, any with any problems they have. Minister John Cortez, who sits on the DPC as Environment Minister, spoke with his education cap on, offering assurances to the families of Laguna Estate that no demolition works would begin until the youth club had been moved to temporary premises at St. Teresa's Hall. The demolition works, he said, were related to the new schools project, which will be announced soon. This, and we're going to make a full announcement very soon, is all about the new schools that we're building in the area, so parents will be pleased with, with what they see there. I can assure them that the old youth club will not be demolished until the temporary uh, location, which is in St. Teresa's Hall, uh, courtesy of, of, of the church, uh, will be provided and refurbished in order for the youth to use it before the demolition proceeds. We are also now looking um, and we are very close to being able to identify an area which will be made available as a kickabout area for the young people there while the works are going on and uh, in the longer term the youth club and the adventure playground and the kickabout area will be fully reprovisioned in the new plans so they can be absolutely sure that we're looking after their interests. I'm satisfied to a point because if I, if I uh, go back to the 2015 press release that uh, the, was the GSLP made public and to reassure us as residents and when they come, came around the estate in the hustling, um, they were saying that uh, the club won't be touched, the club won't be touched, we'll build around it, we'll build around it and suddenly it's demolished, you know, it's a bit like poker face, poker face, no? Yes. Um, so that for me is, is very important because I look back at the press release, I look back at what you said, and then you're doing totally different. Now, I am holding on to what has been said, and that's why I've said, please write it down, that we won't be, you know, the youth club will not move to the detrimental effect of the kids. So we expect that there's an outdoor area where they can play uh, games safely and safeguarded, that there's also um, all the amenities. Uh, we don't want to lose the IT uh, room. Also on the agenda for today's meeting was the government's street art project which was generally well received by the DPC with no objections. Dr. Cortez said the actual designs haven't been agreed on yet and will probably be discussed at a subcommittee of the Commission.